angular perspective or two point perspective when an object has its two faces inclined to the picture plane its perspective is called angular perspective also called two point perspective as the edges of the object converge to two vanishing points a rectangular block 30 mm into 20 mm into 15 mm is lying on the ground plane on one of its largest faces a vertical edge is in the picture plane and the longer face containing that edge makes an angle of 30 degrees with the picture plane the station point is 50 mm in front of the picture plane 30 mm above the ground plane and lies in a central plane which passes through the center of the block draw the perspective view of the block draw the top view a b c d with a in pp and the longer edge ab incline at 30 degrees to pp mark its center o mark s the top view of the station point on a vertical line through o and 50 mm below pp draw lines joining s with the corners b c and d and intersecting pp at points b1 c1 and d1 draw the ground line gl at any distance between pp and the horizon line hl 30 mm above gl through s draw lines parallel to ad and ab cutting pp at points b1 and b2 respectively project v1 to b1 and v2 to b2 on hl v1 and v2 are the vanishing points perspectives of edges ad eh bc and fg will converge to v1 and those of edges ab cd ef and gh will converge to v2 perspectives of vertical edges ae bf cg and dh will remain vertical as ee is in the picture plane its perspective will be equal to the true length and the end e will lie on gl therefore through a draw a vertical line to a point e dash on gl and on it mark a dash so that a dash e dash equals ae this length may be measured directly or may be projected from the front view as shown draw lines joining a dash and e dash with v1 and v2 through v1 draw a vertical line to intersect a dash v2 at v dash and e dash v2 at f dash similarly draw a vertical through d1 and obtain points d dash and h dash draw lines joining v dash and f dash with v1 and d dash and h dash with v2 intersecting at points c dash and g dash respectively they must lie on the vertical line through c1 note that lines meeting at g dash are all hidden and therefore are shown dotted